Hello everybody, we are making a Altoids tin USB charger. It's going to take a 9 volt battery. So, uh, yeah. And we are, it can charge candles, it can charge a phone. Okay, enjoy the tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys what you guys are going to be needing to make this. You guys are going to need a 9 volt battery. I got two at the dollar store, and yeah, pretty cheap, a 12 volt USB charger, any, any car charger, just at the dollar store is the best to get it. You guys could need a Altoids tin, you guys are going to need a uh, <coughs> 9 volt snap connector. Okay, the first thing you guys are going to want to do is open the Altoids tin. Then get a plastic bag to put it in. I've already done this, so I have another plastic bag. I lost a couple. Then you put it in the plastic bag. So once you got your tin, you took all the little mints out. The first thing you're gonna need is after the tin, you're gonna need your 9 volt, maybe 12 volt uh, car charger, any pipe, and screw the top, and that will be like that. Screw this, then you just open it up. Then you take this out. Then the second thing you're going to need is a <clears throat> 9 volt battery in the 9 volt battery snap connector. We're going to make sure this works. So uh, you know it's working when uh, the light turns on. So uh, I made another one earlier, well yesterday. So I, I already know which wires go to which. Uh, the black goes to here. and. Uh, this one so look at there's a spring and a little thing right here so uh, I put the red one to the spring and the black one to this uh, thing right here and it like makes it turn on see it turns on okay so you know it's working so the next thing you're gonna need to do is solder it on here the two wires the black wire to the to the red wire and what i do is i chop it off because it's no need to have this giant metal thing on there i chop it off right at the edge with my wire cutters and Okay, the next thing you do is get your 9 volt snap connector and you solder the two pieces on there. So what I'm going to do is solder them, the two pieces on there. So I've got to get this metal hot. Not too much okay, what I'm going to do next is drill the hole. Uh, you want to make it right. I drill the hole right. Perfect. So what I did on this one, I drilled the hole right there. So it's going to fit in here like this. going to go in here like this. This is just for the light. Uh, uh, yeah. The light, you put it in like that. And the next thing that I do is <coughs> I drill the I drill the uh, <coughs> hole for the USB connector. So let me get the drill bit for that. 
that. It's very sharp, sharp. So <clears throat> if there's any like metal, I just take it off with my pliers. There's like metal. That's what it looks like so far. When you're putting this in, put tape under here because sometimes it uh it doesn't work because it's touching the tin and it'll drain your battery if you don't put tape in here. So put tape in here and you guys will be good. And once you got the <clears throat> the the tape in and the hole cut and you got the you got the hole cut, you got your USB thing in there. Uh, it was very sharp, so I put tape around it because it was very sharp and I didn't didn't want to cut myself. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> should be the end of the video. Uh, let's test it out first before I leave. Plug it in. Uh, let me get my candle. Fourteen percent. Just showing. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks for liking and commenting, and I will see you next time.